हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आन कार्ड मी आई एम कुमार बिश्व रंजन यू पी एस सी रैंक थ्री नाइन्टी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कोल गैसिफिकेशन कोल गैसिफिकेशन इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर सेवरल रीजन्स फर्स्ट इंडिया हैज फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट कोल रिजर्व इन द वर्ल्ड सेकेंड कोल इज ए चीपर सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी एंड थर्ड इट्स पॉल्यूटिंग दे आर फॉर ड्यू टू क्लाइमेट चेंज नाउ देर इज ए ग्रेटर प्रेशर on clean and greener use of coal and coal gasification provides one such technology to reduce the environmental impact of coal and finance minister in delivering atnirbhar bharat package also talked about coal gasification that i have showed you in the in my previous lecture so it becomes important for men's point of view so let's get started let's start with environmental impact of coal now if you check composition of coal then you can fairly predict major environmental impact of coal also before that we must remember that 70% of coal in india is used in thermal power plants to produce electricity so environmental impact of thermal power plants and the coal are interlinked the carbon in coal when burned is converted to carbon dioxide which is a greenhouse gas it causes greenhouse gas effect hydrogen and oxygen are harmless gases sulfur and nitrogen get oxidized to sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides which cause acid rain smog and respiratory diseases the rock particles heavy metals that get converted to s fly ash and bottom ash and that cause respiratory issues particulate matters that are major cause of air pollution is also part of s now to reduce environmental impact we have several technologies like super critical technology at thermal power plant could be used to increase efficiency and reduce environmental impact electrostatic precipitator could be used to capture particulate matters before emitting it to atmosphere true gas desulfurization could be used to capture sulfur dioxide and not emit it to the atmosphere by products could be used in other industries for example fly ash could be used in cement in gypsum production and in construction industry and other technology like coal liquefaction gasification are also available coal has other environmental impact like water pollution and ecosystem pollution in coal ash the heavy metal is present and these coal ash are usually stored in uh, ponds and pits and the heavy metal gets leached and pollute the water resources thermal power plants also consume high water to produce steam and they also use water as a coolant and they release that hot water to original resources causing thermal pollution now to mitigate this we can use cogeneration co method where instead of releasing the hot water to environment we can provide it to urban areas for household use also we must use water judiciously now in ecosystem pollution there are due to coal mining major issues occur like land degradation vegetation loss due to open cast mining and water source pollution at local level now coal miners due to their exposure to coal particles get black lung disease so these are ecosystem pollution and to mitigate these we must use land redevelopment after mining is complete we must follow existing environmental standards and we must ensure highest safety inside mines now let's see coal gasification and liquefaction how these work and how these help in mitigating some of the environmental impacts now coal gasification is the process of converting coal into syngas as you know syngas is a mixture of carbon monoxide hydrogen carbon dioxide methane etc and now this syngas can be used in a variety of ways it can be used in Uh, power generation it can be used in various chemical creation as we as we will see in the next slide 
Similarly, coal liquefaction is the process of converting solid coal into liquid hydrocarbons. Here is coal gasification in block diagram. Now the idea is instead of burning the coal in open air with unlimited oxygen supply, we must control the oxygen supply and provide it in a limited manner to partially oxidize the coal. Now air separation block really does that. Now in the gasification block, there are gasifiers where oxygen is supplied in a limited manner, where steam is provided and the coal is converted to gases. Those parts of coal that could not be converted to gases like heavy metals, S content, rock particles. Now those parts remain as solid and could be removed as slag from the gasification block. Now due to limited oxygen supply, CO shift occurs that is part of the gasification process where oxygen from water shifts to carbon monoxide. Then at this point, desulfurization could take place. Earlier, if we burn the coal in open air in thermal power plants, then the sulfur gets oxidized to sulfur dioxide and escape to atmosphere causing air pollution. But now due to limited supply, sulfur dioxide could not be formed. Now sulfur combines with hydrogen to produce hydrogen sulfide and hydrogen sulfide is not very stable as sulfur dioxide. So sulfur can be extracted from hydrogen sulfide and then this sulfur could be used in production of other chemicals like sulfuric acid. Now due to gaseous nature of coal at this point, carbon dioxide separation, capture and storage becomes much easier. So we can use carbon dioxide capture and storage technology at this point to separate out carbon dioxide and store it. The remaining part is mostly hydrogen and carbon monoxide that is syngas. Now this syngas could be provided to a gas based power plant where this syngas could be burned to produce electricity or this can be used in production of ammonia, urea or this can be provided to a methanation plant where this will convert to synthetic natural gas. The synthetic natural gas is very similar to natural gas. So it can be used in cooking purpose. It can be converted to CNG for use in vehicles. This syngas could also be used in methanol synthesis also. So here we see many use of the syngas in various industries and the pollutants, the impurities of coal got separated out nicely. There is another technology called underground coal gasification. Now if you see normal coal gasification, the gasification process can occur at any place. It can occur at the coal mine itself or the coal could be transported to some other place for example near a fertilizer industry and there the coal gasification can take place and the gases could be used in making fertilizer. But in underground coal gasification, the gasification process happens underground inside the coal seam. We inject oxidants and steam into the coal seam and the coal become gases and it comes out in a production well and then the gas is provided to other industry for use. Now the benefits of coal gasification. First, it's a cleaner and greener use of coal. Second, it has many uses across industries in power sector, in fertilizer sector, in chemicals industries also. Third, it will lead to gas based economy. Now, if you look at the yellow box, I have given a data point. I will include such yellow boxes for those data points that are very important from men's point of view. You must remember these and quote in your answer. For gas based economy, the government of India has a target to increase the share of natural gas in the energy mix from current 6% to 15% by 2030 and coal gasification will help achieve this target and fifth underground coal gasification can exploit deeper coal reserve now what are the challenges of coal gasification first 
coal gasification is a very new technology it is not in production in india and it needs to be matured it needs r d and investment and also in order to efficiently use gas in the economy we need elaborate gas pipeline network so friends this is the end of the video i hope you had a good understanding of coal gasification process please like comment and share please subscribe to one academy and press the bell icon